Hey everyone and welcome back to my nursery. Today I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. We have reached officially over 2,000 subscribers. I actually hit 2,021 subscribers on January 1st, 2021. So thank you to all of those who have subscribed to my channel and are supporting me so that I can continue to bring you content. Um, today, I'm gonna do a little video really quick um, to wish you guys Happy New Year. And this little boy here, this is my Levi Sculpt by Bonnie Brown, and he is still in his Christmas pajamas. I have um, changed out this little baby girl, and I did a little video on Twin A and Twin B by Bonnie Brown, and they're wearing cute little matching PJs. And Mr. Braden here, he is wearing a really cute little um, fox outfit. And I have his little feet showing because I love his little tootsies. So every once in a while I'll dress him in a cute outfit without socks so I can just see his cute little feeties. And we're gonna get this guy changed right here. I'm just gonna go into my closet and pick something out. Um, Mr. Rylan, he's changed into a cute outfit that's nice and warm. And I have a couple of other babies that I've already changed out. I just have this one little baby left. And I'm gonna go in my closet here. I know I have a lot of clothes, guys. <laughs> um, I have a lot of stuff for the babies, but really, honestly, it's because I'm also a reborn artist and I need clothes for the babies to go home in. So I do tend to have a lot of um, baby blankets and bottles and pacifiers and diapers and clothes because I like to send my babies home with like a little box opening and I like to dress them in cute outfits for their new mamas and send a little um, outfit home and some items, some diapers and things like that. Um, so yeah, we're, oh that's so cute and it has a little jacket, but I am going to be taking a little trip really quick. Um, I'm really wanting to go up to the mountains and I think this one's too big for him. It's three months. I don't want to leave him in anything like really dark colored because I don't like to put dark clothes on my babies. Oh, that's cute. So, um, I think I already had him in that not too long ago. So, yeah, um, we're going to be taking a little trip just to kind of reset for the new year. And I'll be back and bring you more content. Um, that's for, like, warmer days. It's still cold here in Florida, so I'm trying to... Um, figure out here. I don't know if I want to put him in another pajama set. I think I will or something. Oh, that's going to be cute. Somebody suggested this for Valentine's Day for one of my girls. I'm definitely going to do that. And this is a really cute Valentine's Day outfit. And I think I have another one here to choose from with little hearts on it too. So we'll probably do some videos with that. But yeah, let me figure out what I'm going to change him into really quick. Okay, so he has this cute little um, New Year's pacifier in. It says last year's wish, and he definitely was. Um, this little boy was actually uh, a Christmas gift for me from my husband um, last Christmas. He was my Christmas present. He was the big one. So um, I'm just gonna do like a little details video on him just cause I have to change him out of his Christmas outfit anyway. And this was also a requested video from one of my viewers. Um, so this is the Levi Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. And I named him Ethan Evan. Um, it was kind of torture um, waiting for this baby because he was actually my, um, he was a custom baby and so I ordered him back in October and his artist was done with him and she mailed him and I believe he arrived like December 1st and my husband <laughs> made me stare at that box all month long the whole entire month of Christmas and um, I was just dying. I was just dying looking at this box and he put it in the closet so I wouldn't get into it. And it was super exciting though. I felt like such a little kid on Christmas. When I woke up Christmas morning, I flew out of bed. 
Um, all my kids were still sleeping. Both of my kids stayed over and we did Christmas that morning. And um, I flew out of bed and grabbed it out of the closet and wanted to open it in bed. I didn't even wait to get out like by the tree with my family, mm -mm, no. <laughs> my husband's like, are you gonna do this now? And I was like, absolutely. <laughs> so I was so excited because I just got to hold him the whole entire time everybody was opening their gifts. And I didn't even want to open any of my other presents. I was just like so excited to have him and hold him. I felt like a child, like a five-year-old girl <laughs> all over again, getting that baby from Santa that you wanted so bad. It was so fun though. It was so fun for my husband. It was so fun for me. Um, the weight was torture. It was absolute torture, but it just built him up so much um, for me on that day. And it's when you're an artist, it's hard to get really excited, like super excited about a reborn like you used to do. So that was a super fun way to do it, to make it just it was like opening up my first baby for the first time. So um, before I dress him, I'm just going to go over some little features of him. My most favorite feature, and I'm going to zoom in on him just a little bit, is this little tucked in lower lip on him. I love that little lip. So sweet, so beautiful. It's such a sweet little feature on him. Um, I love that his hands fold in. They, I love it when babies do this, when, when sculptors make a baby that curls up. It's very rare. And I also love this little hand, the way that it's shaped, because he can hold on to things. Um, let me see if I can find a little blanket or something for him. So if you have like a little toy or a stuffy or whatever, he can hold on to it and it just curls right up in his little arm. So sweet. Um, he has a little fist. I love that he has an open hand and a little fist. I always love little fists. It's so sweet when you're doing photos. And his legs, if you can see, they're just automatically curling up that way. His little feet also curl in just like he would if he was in his mommy's tummy. This is my favorite feature of this baby. This is why I love this baby so much. Um, I just love how curled up and snuggly he is. This is really cool for photos too because I can do a wrap with like a cute little hat or something on him and it would make the cutest little photo. Um, so sweet. So he does have little curled toes on one side and an open toes on the other. They're separated and I love that. Um, this baby did not come with a belly plate or anything like that. So no belly plate for this baby, but that's okay because I have a, a boy belly plate I can always use. Um, I decided to go ahead and dress him in this little onesie. It says little baby bear on it. And it's like a hunter green with navy blue and white. And it has these cute little newborn, he wears newborn size by the way, newborn size diapers. Um, these diapers here are Honest Diapers and they're actually a size one because Honest Diapers kind of run small. So these are actually a size one. On all of my newborn size babies, I dress them in size one diapers if they're from Honest. Um, this little outfit comes with these cute little um, navy pants and it has a cute little bear on the front of it or on the back of it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not half awake. I need to... Um, get some coffee. These are Carter's and he does wear newborn size and Carter's. So um, I have these cute little socks to match and they have like little stripes on them. So they're like cream colored and they seem to have some very similar colors. So I'm going to use that. And I don't know what pacifier I'm going to use for him. I'll have to find a pacifier. But this is one of my only babies at the moment that has rooted hair. She did blonde hair per my request. Um, so you all know uh, I'm not a fan of the rooted hair, but I knew that it would look beautiful on him. There are certain babies I will do rooted hair on just because I just think they need it. They just, there's babies that I'll be creating and I'll originally want to do painted hair on them because I hate doing rooted hair. It's not a fun thing for me to do. It takes too long to do it. And um, some babies just need it. 
they just look good with rooted hair and I'll just decide I'm gonna take that extra time, that extra 40 hours of sitting there poking a needle into their head, which is awful. Um, I will do that on some babies because they just look good with um, rooted hair and this is one of them. The twins, I don't like them with rooted hair. Most of the time there are a couple of them that I've seen that are really cute, but I mostly like twin A and B with um, painted hair and there's certain reasons why. That is so cute. I don't know, these come with um, like the little mittens. I don't know if I'm gonna use those on him or not. Maybe. We'll keep his little hands warm. Oh, he looks so cute that way. Um, I'm gonna do some little socks on him. And you might hear my dogs barking because I heard the garage door go up, which means my hubby's home. So, you might hear them in the background. So don't mind that. I'll put his little socks on and his little pants. So this little outfit is a tiny bit loose. It's not super loose, but it is a tiny bit loose. I do like my clothes to be a little bit loose on the babies. They just are more snuggly and sweet that way than wearing super tight clothes. Oh, those fit him perfect. Those are so cute. And I love that his hands just automatically do their thing and his little legs just curl up. So cute. This actually looks cute with this blanket. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna use my favorite baby cologne here. I love this Johnson & Johnson baby cologne. Um, you can get this now at Walmart and it's only like $2.50 or something like that. Um, I originally found it on Amazon and I just rub it in my hands and put it on their clothes and it just smells so, so good. It smells like baby and I love that. Um, I don't really need to comb his hair too much. I think I'm gonna just fix it with this little brush here. He has very lightly rooted hair and I love that. I just wanted it very um, sparse, just like a regular newborn. A lot of newborn babies just have a little bit of hair. There are some that are born with a full head of hair, but most of the babies I've seen have like this amount of hair. My babies did anyway. So let's see if we have a cute little passy that might go with him. This one's cute. I haven't used this one before. I wonder if this one will work for him. Let's see if it matches up with his. It does. Okay, that's cute. The first one I grabbed worked. So this is a little Nook pacifier. And um, I think the colors work really well. That's cute. I love that. If you guys are wondering about these little crocheted rattles I have, I get these on Amazon. Um, it's the specific brand, Chinku. They have weird names sometimes on brands, but I have all different ones um, like this that are super sweet and they're so perfect for doing photographs on my babies. So um, yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for dressing this little boy up. Um, let me take you down here so you can see him just a little bit better. So this is this sweet little baby. He looks so cute. I love his little legs. I just love how they curl up like that. Yep, this is this little sweet boy. He has blonde eyelashes. And these are those little lips I was telling you about. So cute. So, yep, this is my little cutie pie. And I just wanna say, you guys, once again, Thank you so, so much for all that you guys have done to support my channel. Um, having subscribers really helps, so if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please click that button if you wanna see more content by me. And it does help support my channel so I can continue on to do videos and do more things. Um, I think I'm gonna plan for a live. Um, we're gonna do a live coming up soon. Um, we'll probably do like a Q&A and I'll do a video for that so you guys can like list some questions. And I think that would be really fun like on a Saturday night, like eight o'clock or something, seven o'clock. Um, 
Um, so let's plan for that and I'll do a video letting you guys know when we're going to do that when I come back. And I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. And be safe out there, guys. Bye-bye. I dream I know. Deep up my feelings feel.